Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Fundu. Friends, in this video we will discuss about the type of geometrical tolerances and uh, how it is to be applied. Friends, uh, the type of tolerances are basically divided into five category and the geometric uh, characteristics are also defined for these five categories and symbol. Friends, the first type of tolerance is form tolerance and in this uh, we have different geometric characteristics like straightness, flatness, circularity and cylindricity. Friends, then we have again profile where we have profile of a line and a profile of a surface. You can see this is the symbol and for straightness we have straight line symbol and for flatness this is the symbol and for circularity we have circular symbol. Friends, then we have third category is type of tolerance is uh, orientation. In this we have angularity, perpendicularity and parallelism. Here you can see the symbol for each of these geometric characteristics. And then we have four type of tolerance is location. We have position, concentricity and symmetry. And here you can see the symbol for each of the characteristics. And then finally we have fifth category is runout. Friends, in this we have circular runout and then total runout indicated by two arrow. Friends, here you can see these symbols are indicated on the drawings for different types of geometrical characteristics and different type of tolerances. Friends, if you have not subscribed to Engineering Fundu, please subscribe to Engineering Fundu. We will keep on uploading few good in, uh, videos for the learning point of view. Friends, then here how it is mentioned, here you can see this is the geometric characteristic symbol, then we have diameter symbol indicating cylindrical torrent zone, then we have torrents and then we have material condition modifier and then we have datum, primary datum and the datum for material and datum material condition modifier and then territorial datum. Friends, it is not necessary that all these things are indicated sometimes if only necessary is with datum, primary datum, then only these things are indicated. Sometimes material condition required, then it is indicated and sometimes if it is, if it is not required, then it is not indicated. So it all depends on the application let's see the modifying symbol uh, here here symbol m with circle is indicated at the maximum material conditions means no machining is to be allowed for uh, material and the material is to be used as a maximum material and regardless of the feature size is indicated by s with circle and at least material condition is indicated with L with circle and projected torus zone is indicated P with circle. Here you can see symbol diameter, spherical diameter, radius is indicated with R, spherical radius is indicated with SR, reference with uh, bracket and arc length with uh, arc. Friends, let's see how it is to be applied on the drawing. Friends, allowable torus zone of MMC, maximum material condition of 6 mm hole is 0.2 to position torus is equal to 0.2 in diameter. That means here you can see the circle hole is there with diameter 6 and 6.4. The position torus is given 0.2 with maximum material condition. So the true position of the hole in maximum material condition is 0 0.2 so true position is 0 0.2 in diameter and allowable hole position is also 0 0.2 therefore the position tolerance will be 12.2 plus or minus 0.1 if the hole measured at 6.4 the allowable position tolerance is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 that is 0 0.6 therefore the position tolerance will be 12.2 plus or minus 3 here you can see 12.2 this will be plus or minus 3 and uh, oh, plus or minus 0.1 and here you can see it is with uh, 
tetum reference A, B and C. So this is just the example of indication how it is indicated. There are different geometric tolerance symbol like parallelism perpendicularity. If we want datum A with perpendicular to datum B then we can also apply it here with perpendicularity symbol with datum A and datum B and we can also mention parallelism with how much tolerance we need and flatness. So friends this is how the geometrical tolerances are grouped and applied to the required part or object and if you like this video please like thank you very much and happy learning